upgrading the swirly 175 floor machine this floor machine if you look at my previous videos had the big pneumatic wheels which were fine they were eight inches well the only problem is with the pacific northwest area we get a lot of rain so there's a lot of rock driveways a lot of leaves a lot of pine needles those of you that live in similar climates will know what i'm talking about the pneumatic wheels are almost like tractor wheels and they were picking up all the debris and it was just a nightmare to clean them up before bringing them into the front door these eight inch wheels as well as the machine is available at ncap store i'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in the machine or getting the new wheels if you already have the existing or older style swirly that came with the bigger wheels these are eight inch just the same as the pneumatic so hopefully they go up and down the stairs just as well as the pneumatic so we'll take a look and see there's the pneumatic wheels sometimes the problem with 8 inch wheels i kind of prefer 10 inch but you can't fit those on the swirly without doing some other modifications i just used a three quarter inch wrench pulled the nuts which were kind of a i don't know what you call them not plastic nylon nuts these are the ones that came in the bag along with the other axle which i did not need or the spacers so if you order them real simple process just get a three-quarter regular uh, wrench slide the nut off slide the wheel off slide the new wheels on bada boom bada bing you're in business just like me i'm going to pack these away i always keep original equipment keep that in storage so that i have them in the event that i decide i want to reuse them or use them on a different piece of equipment so if, again, if you're interested in the wheels, get a hold of Damon over at NCAP store. He'll tell you what the prices are and what the shipping will take. They're looking good. I'm excited. This will be easy just to take to the front door, tip it a little forward, take a washcloth or a brush and just wipe the wheels off. Looks a little more aerodynamic for when I'm running through those hallways. <laughs> oh yeah. I do love my swirly. I've been trying to uh, think of some other modifications like, you know, me, I always modify stuff. I really shouldn't, but the wheels is not a modification that is going to jeopardize anything on it. But the little knob down there to lower the handle, I've been looking at some ideas, um, possibly a foot pedal that would attach to that and some other things. I get into some tight corners up along the side of beds when i'm in hotels and i don't have the ability to bend down and really reach that knob so we'll see what happens if i come up with something you know i'll share it with you all right there it is looking good let me show you my second item here i have the malish pad driver and i picked this one up it is a pad driver that will fit the swirly. It was made for a Hawk, 15 inch, fits right on. It has the riser already. It's got a couple pieces of Velcro and then it's got those pointy things. What I was trying to do here is get something that would not tear up my Iron Man pads. You can see they're pretty sharp, but we'll see how it works. I'll demonstrate that in another video. There's the triangular holes which allows for the shower feed option. So we'll be checking that out. Originally, with the bigger wheels, it was kind of dragging, and I had purchased a riser, and there's the number on it. I can't remember. I think it's from Granger, Geringer, Granger? Yeah, Granger. But anyway, I thought it would snap into the existing uh, driver, which I don't no longer need since I changed the wheels. The wheels actually are a little lower profile, so it raises the pads up a little higher underneath with the regular one, the regular Malish or the new pad driver. If anybody knows how this works or seen this, I don't know if this looks like something maybe on my old original gray 175 that you may have seen. 
the center plate can be pulled out of the brush or out of the pad driver and it looks like this is made for one of those where it just snaps in place so if you're a fellow carpet cleaner and you happen to know how this thing works let me know i always i'm not going to send it back i'm going to hang on to it but let me know what you think where it would be useful appreciate that i'll quickly pan out i got all my stuff put in the van ready to go to work i'm at one of my locations to do some vacuuming today in the hallways so i'll be using my hoover hush tone there's the swirly check out the link in the description for all the stuff i use i appreciate you spending a few minutes watching my videos i'll see you in the next one